Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So as you guys can see by the title of this video, this video is going to be all about apartment living. So I really wanted to make a video on all of the like pros and cons of living in an apartment. So if you guys don't know, you're quite new to my channel. Um, I lived in an apartment with my fiance for pretty much like just over two years I think and before I ended up moving to Auckland and I currently live in like a house where with other flatmates that so I can end up doing a pros and cons video about that once I move out but I thought it would be nice to just focus on apartment living because I know a lot of the time people get really really excited to live in an apartment pretty much like the dream scenario but I just kind of wanted to give you guys a little bit of insight into what I have learned I just want to preference that we were on the ground floor some of these pros and cons will differ depending what floor you are on as well. If you're interested in the pros and cons of apartment living or you're considering living in an apartment but you just want to hear a little bit about it then just keep watching. So I have six pros and seven cons to share with you guys. I have written them all down on my phone so if I am looking down at my phone it's because I'm reading off of my phone so sorry if I'm not looking directly at the camera. I'm also sorry if this lighting is a little bit dark but like this weather is really weird today. It's going between really grey and like blue skies but I've got my ring light on so hopefully this is okay. So I might start off with the pros first and then do the cons last. The first pro of living in an apartment is that most of the apartments are in the city centre. So this was the case with our last apartment. We were smack bang in the middle of the city which was fantastic because it meant that we could walk pretty much everywhere which saves on petrol and stops all those fumes going into the environment and it's just nice to be able to not have to worry about finding a park somewhere. Phil and I really loved like just walking down to the shops or walking down to the beach and it was really nice just being able to go for like an evening stroll um, watching the sunset because we didn't have to worry about finding a park or paying for parking. The next pro might be a little bit more specific to our apartment but a lot of the time they would throw events around the fountain opposite the church that was near us. They would host things um, and close off the road to our left. And we had a balcony, so we could just go out on the balcony and watch all these events and listen to music and stuff without even having to leave the house. But I think that was super fun. If Phil was at work, I didn't have to like go down on my own and just watch things. I could just sit on the balcony and just watch all these events and listen to like all these musicians. And it was great. Again, it might not work for every apartment Apartment, but depending where you are there might be like events and stuff that you can watch so this next pro again was a little bit more specific for our apartment and I know this will be a con for a lot of other people and that is that we had secure parking every person in the apartment had a car park that was allocated for one car so again could be a pro and con depending how many cars you own Phil and I we started off with two cars but then before we moved into the apartment Phil sold his car so we just had my my car which was fine and it was all gated and it was all secure and everything which again meant that when we went home I didn't have to worry about finding a park, didn't have to worry about walking ages to actually go home. I, mean, I know a lot of the time apartments in the city don't tend to have a lot of parking especially if it is a bigger city but we were just really blessed where we were that we did have a secure parking. So my next pro follows on from that and again this won't be the case for every apartment but that our apartment where we were was gated so it felt very very secure and safe. Only people that lived in the apartment had the code to the gate. You needed a swipe card to be able to actually get in the gate with a vehicle. The fence obviously wasn't that high so if people wanted to they could jump it but then you also had the front doors as well which didn't open unless you had a swipe card to get in. They were sliding doors but it wasn't like sensed that as soon as you walk up it opens it was just you, you open it with the swipe card. So I always felt really safe and secure and I think even with a lot of apartments sometimes you do need that swipe card to get in. But the next pro is that usually the rent is pretty reasonable. 
Am I even allowed to tell you guys? Maybe I'll tell you guys. So our rent in our previous apartment in Hawke's Bay was $350. And when we split that between Phil and I, it was really manageable. And a lot of the time it is cheaper to rent an apartment than it is to rent a house. Just because houses, they have more rooms and they have more storage. So usually they're a little bit more expensive. They can be cheaper than paying a mortgage as well, depending where you are located. And then the last pro is to do it's kind of gross but it's to do with like waste management and that is that they had really really good recycling facilities so it made recycling super easy like there was a bin where you put like all your main rubbish there was a bin for cardboard and then there were separate wheelie bins for like glass plastic and like cans so it just made recycling so easy I'm not sure if all apartment buildings have recycling facilities as well okay so now we get into the cons of apartment living so this is the most obvious obvious one and that is that you can't be too noisy so a lot of the time you can't throw loud parties you can't throw like drink get togethers where people are going to get drunk and get loud because you do have neighbors in very close proximity and you don't want to get told off by your building manager or your landlord or whoever you're renting the apartment from or whoever owns it or whoever looks after it which is just a little bit annoying and it's a little bit restrictive because especially if you're like having a birthday and you want to have a whole group of friends around for like some drinks but you can't really play music really really loud because otherwise you can hear it like out in the corridors and other people can hear it in their apartments and that's just very inconsiderate. This next con I feel like could be the case with some apartments but especially with owls we could hear our neighbor's toilet flush. Now I think this is just because the walls were so thin but our bedroom backed onto our neighbor's bathroom so sometimes when Phil and I were trying to go to sleep we could hear the neighbor flush the toilet. We could hear when they got up early in the morning to use the toilet. And it just was very gross. If I'm honest, I don't want to have to hear when other people go to the bathroom. So that was a big con that I found living in the apartment. And obviously there's no way we can kind of change it. Our bedroom was very small. We couldn't really, we could only really have it like one way like organized one way so we couldn't even move the bed and again a lot of apartments do have thin walls if you get lucky you do have one with a thicker wall where you can't hear your neighbors at all most of the time we could not hear our neighbors the next con to do with apartment living is probably quite common to all apartments and that is that there is no storage you do not have a lot of storage space to be able to store things and if you're like me and you tend to have quite a lot of stuff it can get quite difficult you do have to manage what you bring in and what you take out of the apartment we had nowhere to be able to pretty much store our bedding um our vacuum cleaner we had like no hot water cupboard that we could put things in um we had like nowhere to store our towels so we're having to store them in like buckets or like in our wardrobes it was just really hard with no storage our apartment had better storage than our previous flat did sometimes you just get one cupboard and that's it but it still was not a lot of storage in the scheme of things and apartments are just too small that a lot of them don't have good storage at all that's fine if you're like a minimalist okay this next one again is to do with like having people over and it is really hard to have people over when you live in an apartment especially in our previous apartment we had to give people the code to the gate if we didn't want to go outside and we did have a little intercom to be able to get people to come in the front door but ours didn't work a lot of the time a lot of the time if we were having people over we had to leave our apartment and go out the front door and go down to the gate and let them in or if they could work out how to do the gate we still had to meet them at the front door so we couldn't actually have people come right to our front door and just let people in that way it was just a real mish especially if you're having like multiple people come over it's just really annoying having to like go out of the apartment all the time to let people in whereas if you live in a house you can just open your front door and let people in and it's a lot easier this next con is to do with us being on the ground floor and that is we had no privacy because we were facing the car park so when people would get out of their cars they would look straight into our apartment our apartment was also right next to the gate that people come in and out of so if people are walking down to the gate they would look in our apartment if people are walking back to their apartment they would look in our apartment and it just was not great again if you're a little bit higher up in the building you won't have this problem but if you are on the ground floor and especially 
because like our balcony was just all windows and our side was all windows so obviously if you don't have as much glass it might be a little bit easier it just felt like Phil and I didn't really have a lot of privacy either which was not fun and because we were also right next to the gate we could always hear it slamming especially when you're trying to go to sleep at night and you have people coming back from the bar and they just slam the gate really loud without consideration for anyone else it just was not great again that's not always the case not every apartment will be gated so you might not have that issue but for us we had that issue and again this is another con to do with the ground floor and that is if you're on the ground floor you have no view when we went out on the balcony we had a little bit of the view of like the city but I would have preferred to be on the other side when we had like a view of the ocean but because we weren't on the ocean side our view was just non-existent and that was also something to note as well is that when people were on the top of the backpackers like on like the rooftop they would always look into our apartment and I know a lot of people think that when they go and live in an apartment that they'll get a good view <laughs> not always the case especially if you're living on the ground floor like we were and then the last con that I wrote down is that not all post companies can enter your apartment so again this could change depending where you are but in our previous apartment it was only New Zealand post that actually had a key card to get into the building so if I ordered anything online and they shipped with DHL I had to meet them outside which meant I had to be home on the day that they were going to deliver so that I could meet them outside because they don't have the code to the gate so they can't drive their vehicle in and just drop it outside the like main front doors of the apartment so that just was not great all of our mailboxes as well were inside the foyer of the apartment if friends wanted to give us invites they had to give them to us in person rather than posting them to us which is something I didn't think about before moving in an apartment is how the whole mail situation would work yeah it can just get really complicated there was a time that I ordered a top of Princess Polly and the shipping company couldn't get into my building and they didn't even let me know and my order was just sitting in the distribution center and no one had called me to say they couldn't get into my gate and it had said that it was delivered so it was not fun learned the hard way the other thing to do with like companies getting into your apartment is that you have to meet uber eats outside which is really annoying uber eats can't come to your front door and drop your food off you have to actually go downstairs or you have to go out of your house and meet your uber driver on the street with your food which kind of defeats the purpose of Uber Eats. Like you may as well just go out and get it at that point if they can't deliver it to your front door. So there we go guys. Those are all of my pros and cons for apartment living. To be honest, Phil and I aren't sure what we're going to do when we get married. We ideally don't want to go back to an apartment just because of all these pros and cons. But yeah, if you guys do want me to make a video about like a separate house living pros and cons, um, especially with other flatmates, then let me know as well and I can make that video once I've been here a little bit longer and I've kind of got a feel for things. I really don't want this video to put anyone off living in an apartment because there definitely are pros and cons. But I just wish I had had someone tell me these things before I jumped straight into apartment living so yeah if you guys did enjoy this video please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you have not already please make sure to turn on the notifications and check out my social media they're always linked down below in the description box and yeah I have got a couple of other like moving related videos or like home related videos on my channel so I'll leave um, a couple of those down below and in the eye as well and I shall see you guys in my next video bye